Okay, well, tonight, it's around 11 o'clock or so, somewhere in there, I am going to tear apart this television over here, and I'm going to show you just what I do when I do it. It's just a step-by-step -step process of taking things apart and uh, getting out the scrap that's inside of them. Okay, so I'll set this over here, like this, and I'll show you there's the TV right there. No, I better show it to you. There's uh, every so often around here, you'll see you'll see some nuts in these holes. These got to come out so we can take this back off. There's a few of them in there from different TVs. Take different amounts of of uh, they'll have different amounts of screws in them, and that's kind of the first step. So we'll go from there. I'll just go ahead and take those off, and uh, and then I'll just come back. Okay. Alright, well the last video on TV, is that still on there just right? Okay, the last video on TV that I was working on, the video didn't work out, so I just took the liberty of, of just switching out the TVs and using this one because the other one I was already done by the time I realized it didn't work out. So, anyway, so, uh, this is how, we're, how you scrap a TV out. Uh, after you've, after you after you've ground it out, ground it out the, uh, the electrical charge inside the tube, with uh, you can use two two screwdrivers and an alligator clip. Just put one stick one in the ground and put the other one in under here till you feel it hit the metal clip in there and it should be discharged. Okay, after that, then you um I already took that I took the back off of there. So you know my magnet's gone again. It was right there. Keep going. Anyway, yeah. So um. Okay, so then you can just really just you can slide these these right up out of here, and a lot of a lot of these circuit boards just can just pull apart like that. If not, I keep a, a abundance of different tools available for just you just clip those wires off of there. Okay, and you can just, well that one's not gonna come off either so easy. There we go, that's that's better. And just cut those. I just cut those off. And then these, are they still, can you still see what I'm doing there, Connor? Or was mm -hmm. I out of, out of the thing? Yeah. Okay, then you cut these wires. Okay, now, when you're dealing with with this, with a, with a circuit board, a lot of times these metal, these metal, uh, oh, I can't think of what they are right now. They're, um, yeah, they're like heat sinks, kind of. These ones are made out of tin, but a lot of times these are made out of a, of a nice thick, uh, Aluminum that you can recycle. You just you would uh, see. Uh, sometimes you can just twist the uh, twist twist the things on the back and they'll come out. Sometimes you gotta kind of just crack them. And then I'll use a flat screwdriver and I'll get underneath them and fry them up. I'm not too worried about these ones because they're they're uh, they're just tin. So it doesn't matter if they come off or not to me. Anyway, you get the idea. You just pry those off like that, and then I just use a, I just use a pair of yeah. yeah. this one. Uh, I can't. Uh, I think that's ten. No. Anyway, so uh, this right here is a little a little copper motor. You want to take want to take that off. That you'll want to scrap out. You can scrap it out just like that, or I just take a. I just take a hammer a lot of times and just and just smack it and bust all the plastic out and then you can get to the copper real quick and easy. Okay, and then put it in a bucket. Let's see. There's uh, there's another little one right here. That, one, that one's gonna want to come right off there as it is. Just cut that copper. Throw that in your bucket. Okay. Then there's a bigger one right here. That one's got a nice copper band around it. Am I still in the... Yeah, just there. Okay. And that one's going to be a little tougher. This has got a... No, that's not coming off that way either. Let's see how that comes off there. Okay. With everything, you should always be wearing safety gloves. 
and safe your goggles and things like this. You don't get cut. You know, if you lose your eye, you lose your eye. So you should be wearing glasses or something to protect your eyes with. Always a good idea. Just ask my ask Kenny Chumsky on here on YouTube. Look him up, check him out. And he'll tell you all about it. The other important thing is make sure you have a big enough hammer around, which I didn't bring my hammer, but just cut that out of there. Should be able to come right out now. You need a, need a bigger pair of pliers. Always bigger pliers. Cut that out. Okay. This has got like a, a copper, looks like some uh, kind of a, just a thin copper, almost like a tape around it. That's kind of wild. But there's copper on there. And then there's there's copper inside of these. Um, you can use a, a Dremel with a, a cutting a cutting blade on it and just, and just slice through that real quick and uh, probably just peel that, that copper right out of there. Um, it's like a tape or something, so if you could unravel it, you could just pull the pull the copper wires right out. And that's a good bright shiny uh, number one copper in there, so that's that's the good stuff. Uh, the boards, I'm told, are recyclable, but there's nowhere around here that recycles them. So right now, I'm just holding on to them until somebody decides they want to. Except for these, I'll pull these. But this one, I'm not going to hold on to. This one's sort of coming apart. And I suppose there's more things on these boards that are worth that are worth keeping. I just I just don't. That's uh the whole thing right in right in the tin. We'll take it like that. And it comes apart like that. Alright. <coughs> Just, let's see, uh, yeah, just throw that in the garbage, will you? And throw that in there. And I'll fly back. And this, I'm pretty sure there's, there is stuff in here. I don't think I worry about it too much. You can turn it apart. Yeah, this one's just got little, the little, these are just little, they're painted, they're, I think they're painted, they're, they're coated green copper in here, these little springs in here. It's, it's too much of a pain for me to worry about, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. Then, you can, uh, you can, normally you can just, well, let's cut these wires off. Let's cut the wires off, and, uh, Put them in your wire, your wire bucket, or whatever it is for later for your copper wire. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this here, this this black cord that you see going around here. This is actually copper in under here. It's all taped up, but it's copper. Need a bigger hammer. That's actually copper in under here. Let's see if I can show it to you. Some of these. Uh, is that focused on there, Connor? Can you see it? No. Can you see it? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Anyway, so you so there's copper in under there. Let's see if I can. How you want to get that tape off there is up to you, if you want to. There's the bright and shiny copper. Can you see it now? Okay. That's the good stuff in there. It's one of the better parts. There's a lot of TVs. Some of the bigger TVs will have real thick ones on there. Older ones will have real thick ones. So it's, it's, uh, there's a little, oops, put that wrong thing. That goes over here. Okay, then to get these off. You just basically just, that pops right off of there. It's just another circuit board. 
Okay, um, I take, let's see, oh, battery. Can you get my battery over there, please? These have these have little little uh, holding holding clamps on here. A lot of times these are either either uh, stainless steel or aluminum. The screws aren't though usually. Sometimes they are. Just I take these off because it makes it so much simpler. A lot of guys like to smash this thing to get it off of here, and it makes a mess and it makes things get cut and. I mean, charge that all night long. Okay. okay. Now I don't know what happened to my magnet again, so. I'm not sure I left it right in here. Or wait, you said you found it in the garage? Do you. Do you need a jacket? Well, I hope not. Okay, so these I know are, are aluminum, so I'm going to put those in my aluminum. This I'm not sure right now because I don't have my magnet, so I'll put it in my tent. Okay, I took those two off, and basically, um, at that point, you can just turn this whole thing. This whole this whole thing will turn. Sometimes it's a little harder, but it'll it will turn. Sometimes these don't want to come off, but I just unscrew that. Comes right off of there, and it comes right off of there. And there's your, there's the, there's the copper. This is I guess this is called an electron gun or something like that. Um, and you can see there's a whole lot of copper on there. Again, a big hammer, and it pretty much takes care of all that plastic. And you can uh, you can just throw it in your in your copper pile then. And there and the garbage. All right. Okay. Now we're down to pretty much the last stuff. Just some screws here to take this take this apart with. Now, there are places where you can where you can actually scrap the uh, it's called ABS plastic, I guess. Uh, that's around these TVs. The fronts and the backs are made out of like an ABS plastic. I just always want to keep all these screws, but I don't. Um, it's called ABS plastic, and it can be recycled in some places. Uh, I haven't found anywhere around here yet that recycles it, so I'm stuck sending it to the landfill. Um, once you take those screws out, you can just pop that off of there. Usually there'll be a speaker or something in here you can you can pop off. And uh, I'll take care of that later, but you can pop that speaker off there and, and sc scrap the speaker out. You can take that off. And then after that, it's only tin, but since I'm working on it, I like to try to get as much as I can out of it. So I'll take it. Just a little tool like this, a big screwdriver or something. Put it right here. Careful you don't break your these things can kind of like implode and make a big mess. Which is why you want to have safety equipment on. So I'll just drive that in under there like that. And then hey there's my magnet. Sweet. I got this uh K and G magnetics, I think it's called KG Magnetics. Uh on the web and it works fantastic. This one here is I think two inches. They run about thirteen bucks a piece plus five bucks shipping. So go from there. And it's and uh, the shipping is I I just bought two more of them and the shipping is still five bucks for both of them. So it's it's a deal to me. Uh, the ship they they, were, they ship fast and they're it's a really they're really powerful magnet. So. Now I saw a video. They actually recycle this whole thing in Germany. There's stuff inside of here that they. But I don't want to mess with the stuff inside because somebody told me it's like lead and, and phosphorus and stuff. So I really don't want to be messing with that stuff. And then this is just like taped on. It'll peel right off. So you can just peel it right off of there like this. And 
you're pretty much done scrapping it. At least I'm done scrapping it. That's as much as I get out of them. So, I forgot about the cord. The cord somehow fell out of there when we were, when I was clipping, but that's, the cord's a good piece of, uh, good piece of equipment. Okay, so, do me a favor, subscribe to my videos, click the advertisements, and help us out. Hit the thumbs up.